website, I would like to thank Doc. Addressing the key challenges in the insulin therapy. The challenge for physicians whenever we start insulin therapy, this patient will go to another doctor. Will lose happy. Suggest uh, challenge for us. So these are the eight key challenges. So hypoglycemia is the most common issue with insulin uh, therapy because uh, uh, insulin, therapy, insulin is a very potent antidiabetic drug because of which uh, the commonest uh, hypoglycemia occurs during insulin with the comorbidity because of which a lot of patients uh, have, have poor complaints and that can lead to many times overeating. Get the hypoglycemia the, to prevent that they will start uh, overeating. And uh, how to address this hypoglycemia? One is uh, precautions is very important. Whenever you start uh, insulin uh, to the patient, you have to spend good amount of time in educating them about the insulin. And either you do it or any competent person in your clinic or hospital has to do it. And precautions should be explained like what are the symptoms, warning symptoms of uh, corrections, proper way of correction. When they get uh, hypoglycemia, they start eating some food, chapati or something. Them, they should be taking the fast acting uh, carbohydrate, glucose, sugar, peppermint, or uh, uh, the beverages like. Uh, and many times, the amount of correction. What happens is, uh, they, instead of, of uh, taking. Uh, uh, five, uh, 25 gram of uh, fast acting uh, uh, glucose carbs uh, uh, is almost five spoon of sugar or five spoon of powder. They take only one spoon of sugar and they will expect that it will get correct. And they're very worried about of the sugar shooting up. So that also has to be uh, educated properly to the proper way of correct. And uh, you have to review the treatment and uh, either lifestyle has to be corrected or that the medication according to the lifestyle has to be changed. Second challenge is usually what they encounter is uh, weight gain. Uh, for insulin, it is known as uh, diabetes treatment paradox. So what happens, the insulin is an anabolic hormone. So it, uh, uh, the patient on insulin tend to gain weight. So every 3 kg of uh, weight gain offsets the benefit of 1% what we call or as uh, KGA1C paradox. So, solution is uh, prevent hypoglycemia because it is seen that the patients who get frequent hypoglycemia, they tend to eat more and they, they gain weight more. And newer analogs like glargine or diglut or tracebo today, these kind of newer analogs are known to uh, have lesser weight gain compared to the traditional insulin. So, the patient is so you don't want a patient to gain too much of weight, weight can always go for the newer insulin. And lifestyle modifications like exercise and proper and uh, combining this drug with uh, weight neutral and weight decreasing anti diabetic medication. The inhibitor with insulin you can as a combination. The, so the overall weight is uh, the remains. And other the third challenge is hypersensitivity reactions. Uh, that is like uh, it could be hypersensitive uh, reaction could be immediate or delayed and immediate hypersensitivity could be local or systemic immediate uh, re local uh, uh, reaction could be chloritic erythema or be at the injection site and could be systemic side effects uh, uh, like uh, generalized urticaria pruritis and so on. and very rarely uh, insulin can cause anaphylaxis also but this anaphylaxis has only noted in the older insulins like porcine insulin or bovine insulin. The newer insulins, which is prominent, highly purified insulin, are analogs. Uh, there is no report of anaphylaxis, is for the older generation. This is one example of the patient where uh, uh, skin test was done. First one is normal saline in the top, 
uh, there's hardly any reaction you can second is the control of histamine injection you know that lantus and uh, other type of insulin has been given is uh, allergic to almost uh, hypersensitive to almost all other insulin and uh, this uh, uh, slide is not so clear we have uh, in the jcm published which insulin has which uh, additive also the person can be hypersensitive to the insulin molecule itself or the co-formulation like uh, protamine they can be uh, allergic to or the tazol or latex so uh, this chart will tell which insulin has which uh, uh, co-components co which can be cause of the hypersensitivity so that you can uh, by using this chart you can uh, uh, pick and choose the alternative which doesn't have those uh, molecules and this is how you can do the rapid desensitization uh, protocol for insulin and many a times uh, if the hypersensitivity cannot be managed at all or, um, the alternative insulin also is uh, uh, hypersensitivity then you have to choose non-insulin based therapy maybe a, a GLP-1 analogs or you can use methotrexate uh, like immunosuppression sometimes monoclonal antibodies also you have to use if it is very insulin is very essential for the body like type 1 diabetics the pancreatic transplant those patients can be used so cost is another challenge in which uh, regular insulin versus analogs uh, you can pick and choose based on the patient's availability and you can reach out to certain uh, uh, companies like insulin manufacturer like Bicon or uh, the, uh, Novo and all they have a for poor patients type 1 patients they can give free of uh, uh, cost uh, insulin and uh, the costing the, if a patient is very poor they may not be able to store it properly also that's another issue uh, they may not have a fridge in their house you know so this how the cost makes the challenge and other ends uh, is another uh, uh, difficult uh, uh, scenario where the patient can't be on insulin like uh, insulin dosing uh, if it is too frequent, many patients because of their lifestyle, uh, if a child, if you are giving, where he has to go to school in the afternoon, he will skip the afternoon dosage. And anybody is doing night shift or uh, some employment which can't permit their own time, they may miss the afternoon dose if you follow basal bolus. Probably in those times, we have to compromise and go with the premix kind of insulin, including their uh, 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 and routine and the injection techniques also very important many people don't change the insulin needle for many days pain will be there so the they won't because of the pain persisting pain they will, will not continue the uh, insulin therapy so you have to guide them how many maximum tricks with a single needle you can do and you can uh, uh, consider alternative devices if it's too painful with a, a syringe and vial you can ask them for a pain device and alternative in molecules and education is very important like uh, monitoring is very important uh, and uh, types of insulin you should educate them about the uh, whether which is a fasting insulin which is a postmedian insulin and devices we told you in detail so uh, education about the devices is also important and knowledge attitude towards insulin therapy uh, uh, it is found that uh, knowledge regarding the diabetes meters uh, uh, almost 23% uh, were adherent compared to the people with the poor knowledge. And similarly, knowledge about insulin uh, injection technique, the good knowledge people had 21% adherents compared to the only 2.9%. And uh, another problem with uh, insulin therapy is uh, social stigma. Uh, so many of the patients, when we ask them to go on insulin, your tablets are not working, they feel very guilty. They think that they have failed themselves in their managing the diabetes. So we should explain that there's nothing to feel guilty about it. Insulin is a usual uh, medicine for diabetes over a period of time. Uh, and uh, in type 1 uh, patients, like uh, you can have the support groups of type 1 so that they do not feel a uh, social stigma. And a few slides I will tell you about some special conditions. The factor affecting insulin is not there, like uh, uh, site of injection, abdomen leg and uh, arm, uh, the uh, rapidity of absorption is very different. Abdominal area, fast rate absorption and slowest in the leg and buttock. 
so you have to pick and choose the type of insulin uh, uh, prandial versus uh, 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 fasting insulin according to this site because site also matters and uh, factors affecting the blood flow through the skin and fat uh, like smoking decreases the uh, blood circulation so decreases absorption and exercise hot bath hot bath messaging uh, the insulin site can increase the blood flow and uh, absorption that has to be suggestion so immediately after hot bath so you should avoid injection and neonates and young children problem is very small dose titration is required and our insulin uh, injector comes with only one uh, unit uh, titration so what you have for that you have to use specialized insulin uh, uh, pen which comes with 0.5 units titration and teenage uh, problem is uh, whenever they say how puberty achieve uh, because of hormonal uh, cells they will be having insulin resistance so sugar may go up and type 1 they may land up in uh, decay that needs to be taken care and pregnancy we know it is uh, high risk because of altered physiology targets are different that needs to be taken care and old age people they will have decreasing cognitive and functional decline so and they are more suitable for hypoglycemia due to comorbidities so much more individualization in these people has required and last but not the least is the blind diabetics so they can't do their own glucometer checking and it's very difficult to inject themselves so Dr. Uh, Pravin, can you wrap it, but, uh, yeah, wrap it up it's now? Yeah, the last slide. Uh, so, the insulin pen, the tactile and uh, with the audio is required and the blood glucose monitoring devices with uh, audible and tactile feedback is also required. That is one uh, which industry has to work with. Thank you very much.